Hello children, in this video we will cover the last topic of our history chapter 1 that is what, where, how and now we will discuss about when. So dates you must have seen in your history books, they are always mentioned in AD and BC. Okay, so dates in history are expressed in BC and AD. So what is AD and BC? AD is in the year of Lord or you can say after the birth of the Christ or BC is before the birth of the Christ, before the year of the Lord. So AD or CE, CE means common area. This is one and the same thing you can see it here also BC and BCE, AD and CE. They both are one and the same thing. So and one is your BP before present okay before present means now in the year we are living in 2020 before that whatever the year we are talking about something happened before that that will will write it as a bp before present okay so now you have come to know that our uh, before the birth of jesus christ bc is there that means before christ they are counted backwards for example you can see it here 500 BC and this is 1000 BC okay and 500 has come before 1000 BC okay here in AD 500 before 1000 but this will be counted forward and this will be counted backward BC will be counted backward you can say B for back or before Christ and A is after so that means this is counted forward. So the year, years after the birth of Jesus Christ are expressed in AD. It means Anno Domini. That is in the year of the Lord. So these years are counted forwards. As I have told you these years are counted forward. For example you can say it as 499 will come first and then it will 500. It will come before 500. Okay. It will come before 500 AD. If you want to find out the time period between two dates that is in BC or AD, you have to subtract the smaller date from the bigger one. For example, if you see here 1000 BC, okay, and here it is 500 BC, then what you are going to do is you want to find out the time period between, you will subtract both 1000 minus 500 and the time period between it will be 500 BC, 500 years, okay, and then same way if you want to find out want to find out in the ad also same way here also 500 ad and 1000 ad again you are going to subtract bigger digit from the smaller digit that is 1000 ad minus 500 and again 500 years time period is there okay then to calculate the time period between two dates when one date is in bc and the other date is in ad and what you are going to do is you are going to add both 500 bc plus 500 AD that comes here how, how much time period will be there thousand years so this is all about year when that is the dates of the history and you uh, see both the videos carefully and try to do the questions which I will give you give you in the next uh, will I which I will be giving you in the next uh, time so thank you so much for watching it and stay home stay safe